police in Maryland remind people of something essential when they go out to check their mail. A man denied a refund of $10,000 worth of TP and hand sanitizer. A man in Florida protests in a very strange way. And finally, a man in Texas has a strange and stupid solution to the rising sea levels. All on today's episode of Stupid People in the News. Hit the intro. What's up, everybody? It's Mike here with Stupid People in the News outside. It's a beautiful day. It's an absolutely beautiful day, so I figured I'd film outside. Are you ready for this one? I know I am. And I have to give credit to my lovely Rika for this story. Police in Taneytown, Maryland have a very special message to residents of the area. When you want to check your mail, wear pants. Apparently, there's one person in the area who has been very guilty of going out to check their mail without pants on. And in the post on their Facebook page, the police department says, you know who you are. This is your last warning. Now, I know with everything that's going on, we're all nice and comfortable. Everybody's sitting around in sweatpants and shorts. Nobody's going to work. Folks, seriously, wear pants. I, I don't even know. I, I, I can't even believe that that needs to be said. Wear pants. A store in Australia, the store owner literally flipped off a customer who bought $10,000 worth of toilet paper and hand sanitizer. This guy, Paul Drake, does a YouTube video every week talking about what things are going on in the store in Australia. And this guy who bought $10,000 worth of toilet paper and hand sanitizer wanted a refund because apparently eBay shut down his account because he was trying to profiteer off of it. Well, apparently the store manager said, mm, I don't think so. You're profiteering. You're part of this problem. You're part of the reason that people weren't able to get the things that they were able to, that they needed to get. So, mm, and he flipped them off. Apparently, this guy had a team of 20 people that were going into stores, buying things up one at a time until they accumulated $10,000 worth of toilet paper and hand sanitizer. Buddy, you are part of the problem. And I applaud that store manager for sticking up to you and not giving you your money back. More stores need to do this. If you're hoarding this stuff, if you spent this kind of money so you can profiteer on eBay or Amazon, one, I'm glad that your accounts got shut down. And two, I'm glad you're stuck with all that stuff. 20 years from now, when your grandkids are unrolling that last roll of toilet paper, they can thank you for it. Now, I know we normally applaud Florida for being our favorite stupid people in the news state. Today, it's a little bit different. We have a different one. We have another state that comes in on top. However, we do have a good story out of Florida. A man went to the Tallahassee home of the governor and encased his hands in two big 55-gallon drums of concrete to protest prisoners staying in prison amidst the outbreak, saying that if we release the prisoners, we'll stop the spread. Well, we've already shown that that's the dumbest thing in the world that can happen. One guy was released, and the next day he committed murder. So we don't need any of that. But this guy had friends literally encase his hands in concrete to protest all this. Apparently, he's not new to protesting. He's been doing this for some time. The police showed up, obviously. They actually had to get jackhammers to get him out of the concrete. They arrested him, of course. He was released a little bit later. But according to the story, he's not done. So I'm sure that we're going to see him in another episode of Stupid People really soon. And finally, a man from Texas has a creative and stupid idea to combat rising sea levels because of climate change. Now, I, I'm going to read this, okay? I'm going to read this. The biggest topics of discussion today are coronavirus, the legalization of weed, and our climate. Okay. Many individuals are committing themselves to tackling the problem by writing powerful and moving Facebook posts, Instagramming, and eating ecological food. Climate activist Greta Thunberg sails around the world instead of flying. Okay. If we could all just grab our cups and start drinking it up, we could solve the issue, says this 45-year-old retired janitor. Mr. Eric Troffman from Texas says that he figured this out when he was drinking Bud Lights one summer evening with his buddies. You know, I was just cracking another cold one with Steve and Berto. When it came to my mind, we had poured some beers into a big bowl. And when I grabbed my beer with my glass, I noticed that the beer sea level went down. So that's his idea. 
is if we all just grab cups and start drinking the seawater, the salty seawater, we will stop the rising seas from global warming. I definitely think it's going to work. The only problem with that people might need to pee and will just pee right there into the ocean, causing the sea levels to rise again. Yes, my friend, that is the only problem with your plan. Drinking seawater, salty seawater, not a problem. Having to pee it right back into the sea, that's the problem. And you can see, folks, why Texas led stupid people in the news today. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. If you like this episode, like it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment down below. If you have a stupid people in the news story that you'd like me to read, I'll be happy to get it out there for you. Send me a message on Facebook. Send me an email at stupidpeoplenews2020 at gmail.com. I'll give you credit for it. Really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thumbs up, like, subscribe. I will see you the next time somebody is stupid. Peace.